What's up guys, it's Hot Eyed 7 rct bringing you another video and this time around is all about Samurai Showdown 5 special for the Switch. Yes, for the Switch. At last, at long last, I have the opportunity to have this game after waiting for so long on Hamster to actually bring the damn thing to the Switch. Now, don't get me wrong, I love to mess around and joke around with uh, Hamster kind of like putting this game like a carrot on a stick kind of deal where they had me buying most of the titles just uh, as I waited for this one to actually come around because it's my favorite you know I know that all of you guys out there Anthony I know you're you must be watching from somewhere using the Jedi powers but yeah I know that many people have different favorites this is just mine this is like my little thing my little thing to hold on to you know samurai showdown 5 special what the hell um but as a disclaimer of course i wanted to say ahead of time that i have many forms of playing this game just having it on the switch is just a let's say a convenience kind of thing it's uh a more straightforward and of course with the reason uh, acquisition of that uh, the, the drive, the USB to be able to connect the arcade stick it makes it more of an option to have it on the Switch because I can play it straightforward, very easy connect, plug and play at home and I can play it also on the go without having to change switch systems and stuff like that. To give you an example as to I have different ways of playing this, you guys have seen my videos on, you know, on hyperspin and different emulators and stuff like that. But let's say there are some official ones uh, available as well, just like the, this one you're seeing right now, the Neo Geo 25th anniversary uh, Humble Bundle edition of the Samurai Showdown 5 uh, special. The only issue that I have with this one, of course, is the fact that, for now, because I really hadn't, haven't uh, researched it enough, but I'm limited to using the Xbox One controller or, you know, pads, because it's kind of like hardcore coded to their software not to give you many options when it comes to controls. So you only have keyboard and gamepad. I could work around it and try to find, uh, there's so many third party applications that I can use, XPad, yada yada, so on and so forth. But I really don't think it's um, worth the trouble, to be honest. Um, since, like I mentioned, there are so many other ways to go ahead and, you know, and play. So windowed and full screen as you can see so yeah you come in here you have that nice little screen with the Neo Geo and you have already assigned hard-coded um, assignments of the buttons or button placement on the pad that is a part that kind of like eh, doesn't go well with me because the fact that I cannot use my arcade stick is one, but the fact that I cannot change the button arrangement, that's a whole nother thing that really kind of breaks, uh, is a deal, deal breaker for me, to be honest. It takes a little time until the pad gets recognized for some reason as well. A placement of the pause menu up here for some reason on the shoulder button. There we go. No options, of course, of filtering or anything like that. I don't like the placement because it places the A, B buttons in right. the bottom and the C and D on the top, which is not, it's not very good. Coupled with the fact that I have to use the D-pad because the analog stick for the Xbox One controller for this game also doesn't do it for me. So. 
no filters, of course. You get it, which is it's fine. It's it's good to have like the classic feel to it. Feel like you're in the arcade. A bit pixelized, but you know, at least you get the original how it's supposed to be or how it's meant to be played. But like I said, all in all, not my preferred way of playing it. My preferred way of playing it, to be completely honest, is, at least on the PC side of things, is this puppy right here, Fightcade. Fightcade, I have everything already uh, arranged here. I have my options where I can mess around and, and, and you know, do the filters and stuff like that. But everything is pretty straightforward. The version that I'm using, I'm basically running the fight um, FBA um, emulator, which is the kind of like the backbone of the fi whole Fight K thing. So, but I'm using the Fight K2 version. Now, I go in here and look for Summer Showdown Special. Can load up. And everything should be working just fine. I'm using the arcade stick. I'm using one button for the credits and the other one to start the game. And we are golden. Now from here, I have the options. Right now, it's it's not having that much uh, filtering as it is. I could change that, of course, with the blitter options. I just set it for linear. And then I just choose whatever algorithm I want for the, the type of filtering that I want if I want two times uh, sal or whatever so you know the options for uh, the game how it's being presented to me it's uh, there's a lot of variety there and I can mess around with the resolution and, and stuff like that I'm gonna just leave it at point filtering let's leave it like that because I'm the whole purpose of this video, of course, is the Switch version. But I just wanted to show you guys my preferred way of, of uh, playing it on the PC side of things. Now, I'm going to go ahead and toggle full screen. I'm going to have to hard break it later in order to get out of the game. Because for some reason, the command key and alt enter isn't working very well today for some reason. But yeah, let's do a match with this one. You guys can see using this in comparison. Of course, I have the range of the Neo Geo top four buttons. Izo Jinjo ni ippon me shoubu! And of course, what can be said from this title that has been said so many times is the ninth it's of course one of the largest, if not the largest, Neo Geo cart. Anthony, you in terms of his historical value and stuff like that, I really am not trying to place this above any other of the Neo Geo uh, games in their catalog. It's just that it's my favorite. Um, I'm not the best player, of course, by far, but I just really love the game. All of the ones that appears. Tai, Yagyuji Izo Jinjo ni ippon me. Now let's give it the chance that it might go later on and do a stream on Twitch. I haven't looked into the possibility of the Switch version having an online uh, play, which I can't doubt, but just in case, I'll be checking and updating, uh, very soon. Oh, 
I love those chunky slashes. Beautiful way of ending. All right. So let's get out of here and close this up. And I will meet you on the next screen to play the Switch version. Alright guys, so here we are. The Samurai Showdown Special, Samurai Showdown 5 Special for the Switch. This is what we've been waiting for. So let's go right into it from here. As you saw from the other versions, you know, it's uh, pretty much... Uh, standard fare when it comes to the game itself however with the options that you have available for it just like every other samurai showdown that hamster did uh, has done for the switch you have your original japanese and english mode we start off go through the button work in every hamster game you'll find that and the credits I already set it up of course I am using the arcade stick because this is a special occasion and yeah and it's Sam Show 5 special and yeah I needed it so let's go in here let's put plenty of credits in here I'm not stingy to play a one credit game so let's go ahead and do that let's uh, start and of course, my first pick is going to be my main, which I'm going to use blue, hopefully. Oh, okay, not red. Alright. How much? Ooh. Tai. Lasetsman. Let's go. Nice. Let's do the match here. Kind of like Minigun. Oh, yeah. Portable mode. safe to go into full screen so you can appreciate the aspect ratio right now it has no filters on and I kept it on like that on purpose so you can have a better visual comparison to the other versions that I ran before This one, I know I've made a lot of fuss about this game coming out of mine. And it's just one game in the grand scheme of things, Neo Geo titles that have come to the Switch. I know all of that is good and all, but it's just, I'm not the best player in this game, uh, by far. Um, but I just love it so much. And this version, I don't know. This version has everything I like about the game. 
feels quicker and more difficult to master. The added gore and violence and all that stuff kind of, you know, seals the deal. So I kind of like that in a samurai game. It's super awesome. Um, what more can I say? I mean, again, <clears throat> the title is the ninth Samurai Showdown title. So, Pierre the Neo Geo. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to talk and focus at the same time here, but. Jesus! Get out of there. Freaking OP. As I was saying, ninth title, and Anthony's gonna correct me if I'm wrong. The ninth Samurai Showdown, and the last game to be available on the NG. So, yeah, just on that itself, it has some historical value, I guess. For me, Even though long-time followers of the Neo Geo platform, this is something that's kind of important to me. I don't care what order it came out, it's just all the titles of the Samurai Showdown series are, are amazing, but this is the one that I was more looking forward to. And I have this game on different platforms. As you saw on the PC, I have many forms of playing it already, and most of them even online, but I think it was, or it is a match made, made in heaven by having it on the Switch because I can play it at home and play it outside as well. Uh oh, that does not look good. But in the end, I prevail. So yeah guys, that's it for now. I'm sorry I made a big fuss about this whole uh, Sancho special, uh, Sancho 5 special, uh, being on the Switch and all, but I waited so damn long. And I keep joking about it. Let me go here before I go and just go into the display settings. You guys can see with the filter. That's the original. And here we start going into the smoothing, you know, scan lines and stuff like that. Par for the course, you guys already know about this with the previous releases, of course, because Hamster decided, and here's where I go, this is the punchline, Hamster decided to leave this one almost to the very end. I'm not sure if they have released, I doubt that they have released all the Neo Geo titles on the platform as of now, as of right now, but man, oh man, did they make me wait for this one. Jesus, but anyways, I'm not bitter. I have it. I'm super happy. That's about it. Um, if we apply a little filter here, you can make it look kind of like monitor. Um, this is the most smooth out. This is the one that I could compare it probably to, let's say, for those of you who know emulation or have been doing emulation for quite some time, it's kind of it's of the eagle. So two times eagle back in the day filter. Where everything is pretty smooth out. It looks okay, it's not too overly done. And yeah, with that gonna leave it right here i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did 
uh, making it for you guys. So please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later with the next one. Remember, emulation is still going on, and uh, have a next video on that very shortly. See you guys. Take care.